Hi guys, today good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and today we are going to discuss another couple of interview questions. Okay, suppose if you have a data like employee number, employee name, salary. Okay, we wanted to fetch alternate records from this particular table. For example, if you take Ravindra here, 101, Aradhu is having 102, and 103 is Ramesh, and 104 is Ramindra. 105 channel, 106 is Sadish, and 107 is Pandarati. 108 is Ashok. Okay, we have like this data, but what is the expectation is post Ravindra should come, after that Ramesh should come, after that channel. Nothing but an alternate record. Okay, one is even record, another is odd record. Even records means which is going to be 101, 102, and 104, 106, and 108. Odd number means 101, 103, 105, and 107. This is the expectation which they are going to give, give you as part of as part of question. Okay, now how how can we solve? How can we solve? In what actual we are going to solve with the what actual first. Try to understand this. Okay, try to understand this. First of all, what we are going to do? Select star from select star from employees. Okay, we are going to and we are going to write it up. Select star from employees. If you see here, if you see here, okay, we have how many records are there? We have one not eight records are there. We have one not eight records are there. See here, until two until two not six. Okay, until two not six. It is a serial number which we are using. But here, 108 record, which I have customly, customly inserted. Okay, try to try to go ahead and understand. What is the even number here? 100, 102, 104, 106, 108, like that. First, try to understand how can we solve this. Okay, we do have a row number. We do have a row num. Okay, row num. Okay, using that row num, we are going to we are going to get the serial number. Okay, let's try to go ahead and do it. Row num. Row num. It is the procedure column which is available in the oracle. If you do row num, okay, if you do row num, okay, what is going to happen? It is going to give you this number 1, 2, 3, 4. It is nothing but it is going to provide the sequence number, sequence number, okay. Whatever the data we have, right, as is, okay, we are not changing any order, just as is, it is going to come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that, 108 records. It is going to provide the sequence serial number okay it is sequence number which is going to generate that now now if we if it is sequence number is generating okay how can we deal that okay simply what we can do if we can go ahead and understand the question right okay even number okay if it is what do you mean by even number even number the number the number which is divisible divisible Okay, which is divisible, divisible with two and remainder is, remainder should be zero. Is called, is called even number, is called even number. And same thing when it comes to odd number, when it comes to odd number, what is going to happen? See, which is divisible, which is divisible by two with two and remainder is greater than zero, nothing but a one, nothing but a one. Let's try to understand with the practical example. Let's try to understand with the practical example. Okay, now, whatever the thing which we are expecting, first we are going to then, we are going to talk about employee ID, then Ronam, okay, Ronam as ID, okay, ID from, okay, which table? Employee table, employee table. Now, now, what is the thing which we are going to do? If you can go ahead and do that. Okay, if you can go ahead and do that. Ronam, it is generating this. Okay, simply I am calling this name as a, this particular thing I am calling as a alias, alias name. Now, I am just, I am going to write inline query. Okay, to, because alias column names cannot be used in the where clause. That is the reason I am calling inline view. I am calling inline view. Okay, select star from, select star from, Okay, so let's start from A. Okay, where modulo modulus is the function which is available. Okay, which one you are going to divide? You are going to divide the serial number with two. Okay, serial number with two, and if it is equivalent to zero, that remainder is equivalent to zero, 
then we are going to and saying that there is an even number. Okay, try to understand this. Okay, we are going to and we are doing that. Can you see here? Can you see here? It is an alternative record which you are going to get it. You are not expecting, you are not expecting based on employee ID. Remember that. Okay, based on employee ID, you are not expecting the record. Try to understand this. Okay, if somebody asking, okay, if somebody asking, okay, go ahead and give employee ID based or even number or odd number, what you can do simply you can go ahead and you can deal with it like this. Okay. You can go ahead and deal with it directly. Select star from okay. Where okay, if you if you wanted to go ahead and do the alternative number, even numbers based on employee ID, simply what you can do where modulo employee ID, employee ID, okay, comma two, okay, comma two. Modulus is going to take two parameters. Okay, the reminder will give you output. Okay, here if you can give zero. Okay, if you can give zero, what are the records will come? 100, 102, 104. Those records will come. Let's see the output. Let's see the output. Can you see here? Everywhere. Can you see here? This is the output which is going to come. This is based on employee ID. Now, if you wanted to identify the, if you wanted to identify the, if you wanted to identify the odd records, you may, you can mention simply not equals to zero, not equals to zero, which is nothing but a odd records will come based on employee ID, based on employee ID. Here we have a, in employee table, we have a, we have this particular employee ID. That is the reason, that is also we have a sequence number. That is the reason we can go ahead and get the, we can go ahead and get the alternate reports by using the employee ID. But what if, if I can create some dummy table out of employee table? Let's create some dummy table. Okay, create table, create table. Okay, and EMP, EMP with names. Okay, EMP with names. Okay, I'm creating select as nothing but a thetas I'm using and going ahead and creating the table first name okay and come on last name okay and then we are going to and we are going to we are going to get the first name and last name we are getting getting it okay from which table employees table from employees table here in this case here in this case okay we are creating the employees only employee with names table now if I can go ahead and query this select star from EMP with names, EMP with names. Okay. Here, if I wanted to find alternative records, I wanted to find alternate records first, Ellen, after that, Moji, after that, Arman, after that, Amit. So, such cases, okay, we don't have any integer number column, okay, we, we don't have any sequence number. In this case, we have to go with the second first approach, what I exactly explained. Okay, in this case, what we are going to do here, we are going to do what we are going to do here, we are going to tell that first name, comma, last name, okay, last name, and after that, we are populating as a row num, nothing but we are creating a sequence number, and we are going ahead and we are keeping as a alias name for that. Once we have given alias name, we can't go ahead and execute in where clause. That is the reason we are creating an inline view for that. On top of it, we are going ahead and we are using the module of ID. Okay, module of ID, comma two. If it is equals to zero, okay, which means it's nothing but a first and third. Let's go ahead and see that. Okay, which is equals to zero. Okay, what is coming? What is coming? Now, okay, both both the things we are going to execute. And other than that, we are going to see full data as well. Okay, full data without that. Okay, try to execute three at a time, then you will understand much more clear. Okay, first we are going ahead and executing. Now here, not equals to zero, which means odd records will come. Okay, and here first, we'll go with the output. We are going to eliminate this output from here. Okay, then we will see only these three tables okay these three tables output not these three these three queries execution okay try to understand here now ellen apple after that sundar apple now first query which is second record and fourth record like that right can you see here 
what is coming sundar and ande okay which is coming sundar ande and david austin can you see here sundar and ande and david austin same thing here you can see in the third as well sixth as well sorry by day can you see here eligible and bates here you can see that okay and if you wanted to find this is the even record output whatever i am talking okay if you wanted to identify odd records nothing but a first third and fifth and seventh like that you can see here simply if i summarize it okay there are two ways to execute it if you wanted to identify if you wanted to identify okay even if you wanted to identify even and odd records okay we can do it by two ways okay two ways one is one is okay if you have a column okay if you have a column if you have a column already in table if you have a if you have a column in if you have a column like in any in number column okay which is giving sequence number okay we can go ahead and we can go ahead and use that particular column particular particular column for getting the alternative getting the alternative records okay but we have another way is if you have if you have if you don't have if you don't have if you don't have any number column and which is not which is which is not giving which is give, which is not giving any sequence number then what we can do we can go ahead and we can go ahead and in this particular scenario step one is nothing but a we can go ahead and we can go ahead and create a alias column alias column by using row num row num okay row num then using that alias column using that alias column then we are going to and 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 doing the doing the modulus doing the modulus modular module function on top of it okay on top of it on top on top of it on top of it okay on top of it okay once you have given that then use the where clause very simple you use the where clause and use the where clause and give the equals to zero and not equals to zero not equals to zero this is the this is the way you have to apply it. this is the way you have to apply it. to to let me summarize one more time if you have already column go ahead and use that particular column okay if they are looking for only based on this column if they wanted to list alternate records you can use that particular one if they are looking generic okay then go with the row num then go with the row num and use this row num this is the procedure column which is going to generate the nothing but a which is going to generate the number sequence number it is going to generate it it is going to generate the sequence number using that you can limit the data as well as you can create a sequence nothing but a here you can see right in this particular case here you can see in the particular case first case you can go you can see here if i can go ahead and do that okay here let me write it up that okay simply what you can do select okay first name come on last name then come on row num from from which table we are going to and we are going to use the we are going to and we are going to use the which table we are using employees with names employees with names okay employees with names okay simple you are going to using the employees with names there is no difference which you are going to see whether it is that that table or this table okay here you can see right it is generating the sequence and that's it for the day guys thank you so much for liking and commenting the channel and we are going to start october 23 we are going to start new batch of etl testing and as well as we are going to plan big data testing as well in november 1st and if you guys are planning to join please let us know please contact the phone number which is provided here 9886827 and 826 and we are going to start even series on the 
big data part as well, especially big data testing questions, and as well as what is big data and why we are working big data, okay? Why big companies are moving towards big data as well. I'm going to explain just high level, and post that we are going to start the high, high as well as park scale questions as part of our series, as part of our series. And even we are going to start the Unix classes as well. Unix, when I say Unix classes, it is going to be very, very important question which is going to come as part of ETL testing or big data testing. Unix interview questions also, we are going to start very soon. And today we have covered two, two interview questions. One is even number and odd number, odd number records. That's it for the day, guys. Thank you so much for liking the video and content as well. And if any one of your friends as well as uh, colleagues are looking for the upskilling themselves in ETL testing and big data testing, please let us know. Please refer us. And you can drop number in the video itself so that we can connect with them. Thank you.